Hi, my name is Keith Nickel. I often get letters from readers, and here is one I received from Beverly from Illinois in the Midwestern United States. This is what she writes. We often don't get a long cross-country ski season, and I would like to be as prepared as possible, so I'd like to take up roller skiing. Could you please make a video on classic roller skiing for someone just getting into it? Sure, I can do that, Beverly. And uh, first of all, let's look at uh, a, a classic roller ski that I think would be of interest to people just starting out. This Gen X roller ski has got three wheels, two in the back and one in the front. And this means that it is much more stable, a little bit easier to balance on than a traditional two-wheeled classic roller ski. And makes you a little bit more comfortable on the pavement since pavement's a whole lot harder than snow and you really don't want to fall. So have a look at this type of a, a roller ski. It also has or can come with a brake. Uh, by adjusting this the front wheel will slow down and you'll be able to move very slowly over the pavement which also makes it safer for someone just starting out. And then as you get better you can release the brake like this and the wheel will turn uh, a lot more easily. So this is a great tool for just starting out with your classic roller skiing. And what I'd like to do now is show you some drills and a few exercises that are going to make you comfortable on your roller skis. I suggest that you start out with your roller skis on grass, trying some of the exercises that you see me demonstrating here. Balancing on a single ski and making small step turns are some of the ways to get comfortable with your roller skis in an environment where if you fall, you likely won't get hurt. Note how I use my hand to make sure I am balanced over the ski. If my toe, knee, and nose are over the ski, I can balance much more easily. You can reduce the speed of your roller skis by activating the brake as you see me doing here. These brakes are a nice add-on that Genix offers on their roller skis and they make learning a lot safer. Now your roller skis will be slower and you can try the scooter drill as I show here to practice balancing on a single ski. Remember to try to align your toe, knee, and nose over the ski that is gliding. Be sure to switch skis so that you practice balancing on both your right and your left ski. Next with both skis on, try striding, working on developing the one-footed balance from ski to ski that I show here. By keeping your speed under control with the brake, you can develop the balance and coordination needed to stride on roller skis without moving too fast. If you find that you are having trouble balancing on a single ski, go back to practicing the scooter drill. Once you are at ease with classic skiing with the brake on, you can reduce the braking action so that you glide further with each stride as seen here. Remember to swing your arms naturally as I demonstrate in this case. As you improve and want to go faster, think about getting more power by pushing down and back. As your stride leg leaves the pavement, you should have a straight line between your leg and your torso as seen here. By practicing no poles classic skiing, you should be ready to glide in the tracks when the snow falls. Also wear appropriate safety equipment like a helmet, possibly knee and elbow pads, and start out on flat, smooth pavement where you can't get going too fast. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with skiers you think might benefit. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.